so in the previous video we have successfully deployed our application and also created a load balancer cluster so in this video what we will do is that we will visit our application and for that we will use the cube ctl get ingress basic ingress So this tells us about, about the ingress traffic and the port number through which the traffic is coming. Now if we point our browser to the external IP address, we can see the application. So as you can see, our application has been launched on this IP address, which is hello world. Now after that, what we need to do is that if we want to configure a static IP address, we can reserve a static IP address and name it as web static IP. So we can use this command. So this command will simply create a static address for your compute engine. Now, if you want to configure this IP address, you can use this, these commands, but we won't use them right now. Now the sec the one more thing which you can do is you can serve multiple applications on a load balancer. So let's say if you want to deploy another application, hello app version 2.0 then you can use this command to run the application so as you can see the deployment web 2 is also created on the same load balancer now we will expose this load balancer to the port number 8080 now the service is exposed This conference will now be recorded. So friends, what we will do now is that we will paste this code. So this code basically routes the request with path starting that this to web to service. So this code should be saved in fanout in this YAML file. So we will simply open this file and copy paste this code here. and we'll exit this after that we will use this command So there has been an error which shows that there is some error in converting the YML to JSON file and mapping the values are not allowed in this context basically means that only YAML, only JSON file will be used here. So it is unable to convert the YAML file. So we'll look into that. This conference will now be recorded. So friends, there was an issue with the 
ingress ml file so we have resolved that issue so i'll explain it to you the code which we pasted was not pasted properly that is the reason why it was the command was not running so now it has been pasted properly now when we use the command again so here it is showing that ingress extension fan out ingress has already been created so it already exists now if you want to delete the ingress there are also commands for that so we can use this command to delete the basic ingress so as you can see the basic ingress has been deleted and if you want to delete the fan out ingress so you can do use this command and there are also commands for deleting the static ip address and deleting the cluster so you can use all you can also use these commands to delete them according to your needs so friends in this video we have successfully configured our load balancer with the static ip along with different configurations and we have also hosted two web applications on the same load balancer so that was all for today's video